Yes. Well, let me tell you again. In the biblical times, there was a war between the Israelites and the Philistines. On the Philistine side, there was a warrior called Goliath, who was supposed to be over nine feet tall. The Israelites feared him. Even their king, King Saul, was scared of him. However, there was a young boy in the Israeli camp called David who wanted to challenge and defeat Goliath. King Saul told David, David, Goliath is too big. Don't try. But David said, Goliath is too big to miss. Let me try. So it was decided that David would engage in a battle with Goliath. He went to a nearby stream and collected five smooth stones and went to the battle. When Goliath saw David, he started laughing to see his size. They ran towards each other. Goliath, uh, David grabbed one of the smooth stones and flung it towards Goliath. It hit him right on the forehead. The big, burly, brawny child, who was considered invincible, died after being hit by the right stone at the right place. Well, that's my college. Giants don't get killed by stones. However, ever since that time, this phrase of David versus Goliath has been used to depict situations in which a seemingly small person puts up a fight with the giant. History today is replete with David versus Goliath stories, be it Gandhi or be it Martin Luther King. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to speak about one such daily David. This David has fought against the Goliath of deforestation. And this one person, one single person, has created a forest. He is an Assamese, but not many know him because no movie scriptwriter has still date paid attention to our Jadav Payam. Jadav Payam has spent 30 years of his life in planting trees all by himself, without any retinue of assistance, without any aid from the government, without any funding from the likes of World Bank or corporate funding from his to any CSR. His efforts has yielded today a forest which is spread over an area of not one, not two, but 550 hectares, which is roughly 6 crore square feet, or the equivalent of 15 football stadiums put together. Mr. Pine is not any kind of national geography. He is not a graduate of in the environmental sciences or botany from any fancy university. He is a simple villager of the Mishin tribe, living a very humble life in the river island of our state. As a youth, he was perturbed to see that snakes were dying in his native village because of lack of forest cover. He wanted to do something about it. He found out that the government had a plan to reforest the area. He joined the project as a laborer. But the project ended sooner than it began. He set out to complete what the government had left unfinished. Bit by bit, he planted the trees on a sandbar on the Marjorie Island. He tended to them, watered them, replaced them when they died. The plants became trees, the trees became forest. Malai forest is the name by which it is known today. And today, this forest is inhabited by not only birds and monkeys, but Bengal tigers, rhinoceros, vultures, species which are on the verge of extinction. He did not beat any drum to publicize his efforts. His existence came to be known only by accident. When a herd of wild elephants strayed into his forest and to the utter surprise of forest officials, they found out that this forest was nowhere dead on the records. The magnitude of his contribution to the environment started getting recognized. 
nationally as well as internationally. And he became a proud recipient of many awards, including the Padma Shri in 2005. We see all around us trees being cut for more houses, more bridges, more roads, more infrastructure development. Payam is a David fighting this goliath of deforestation. Today, we all are aware about the greenhouse effect, carbon footprint, global warming. We know all the jargons. We are aware that the forest cover is reducing. We are aware that the water is becoming polluted. We are aware that the uh, air will no longer be suitable for breathing soon. But we all end up thinking, what can we do about it? We are too small to make any of this. We might not have the perseverance or the dedication of Jagat Fire, but we can help the Davids of this world gather some stones. In our own small or ultra small ways, we can help to make this world a better place. Maybe by resolving not to use plastic, maybe by resolving not to litter your entire. We need to remember that we are one. I am one, but I still am one. I cannot do everything, but I still can do something. Then why should I let what I cannot do interfere with what I can do? <laughs>